713 at KPL. Welcome to the pre Friday edition of Acadiana's Morning News. Joining us in the studio, Major Eddie Thibodeau from St. Landry Parish Crime Stoppers. Good morning. Good morning. So, how, how was the drive from Eunice this morning? Give us a roads um, update. When you said look at that weather, out, look at the, the sunrise, it was awesome. It was I mean, beautiful. It was, yes. Now we've kind of get into like, we've gotten to like a regular see that every day kind of sunrise. Now I can see but earlier it was like Armageddon. <laughs> no, it was awesome. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, you thank the Lord every day. You wake up and you see that uh, that sunshine. You know? Yeah, it sure beats the yeah. alternative, man. The, we, we always would like to see the grass the green of the grass, not That's the right. brown at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what's going on. Uh, I know there have been some developments at St. Leonard Parish Crime Stoppers, definitely making some progress in some unsolved crimes. I, uh, I had a great time, Rob. That I got to sit on the board the other day, mm-hmm. and we have a, a computer program that says, this is how much you should pay. It's a, it's a national thing. Uh-huh. And it says, you know, was this guy ever arrested before? Is he a repeat caller? And um, I, I can't give out the, the the amount that he got, but the board looked at it and said, that is just not enough. Wow. And the board said, you know, this guy was an armed robber that he turned in. Wow. He said, we will, we're going to up the, now there's 12 people on the board, or 13 rather. And they said, you know what, that's not high enough. So mm-hmm. they were able to give a little bit extra because we all know an armed robber, like the, the last Crime Stoppers we aired yesterday, when you have an armed robber, things go bad. Yeah. It always could go bad. So uh, they up they upped his um, his reward. Wow! I think that's incredible. I mean, it's real money to be had out there for people who can help. And then you know you're you're offering real peace of mind to the person who's been the victim because they know, hey, this person has now been caught. Right. You know. And as you said, you don't know what's going to happen during an armed robbery or any other crime. You don't know when that one person who is trying to make a victim of you and currently victimizing you isn't going to, to do something even worse to you in your life. Right. The, the one we aired last night was actually a December 29th, 2015 case mm-hmm. that uh, apparently slipped through the cracks. And I was approached by the victim's father. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, they're working on fingerprints and stuff. Why don't we use this tool? I said, this is what Crime Stoppers is. And what happened, if you watch the video, uh, he went in around closing time. He had a hood and stuff on. And the owner came out, which uh, it was a young... Uh, Barber, and he shot the guy. It hit one of them, it hit his arm, and some of it hit his head um, in a pool of blood. So, again, armed robbery, it, it, when you start going into a business and you have a gun, mm-hmm. bad things happen. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, all people have to do is call the number, right? They That's, just call 948 tips, and it, it is anonymous. We, we cannot stress that enough. We do not have a caller ID. Um, and we talked about it last time, how you get your tip. It used to be, again, the old way, you had to call uh, 948 tips. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, and a confidential informant can call in. You can call in. You can use a text. Wow. You can call the department. Like uh, I always say, um, if you notice, I always have another person with me. Um, I, I want to introduce you to the guy working the case. Yeah. So either call tips or... Uh, this guy was Detective Robert Brickley. Mm-hmm. His father used to be a detective and a police officer in Lafayette, mm-hmm. Richard Brickley. He passed. But I said, look, you can call 948 tips or 457 6575. Speak to Robert Brickley, Detective Robert yeah, Brickley. Yeah, ask for him, ask for the detective, ask for Robert, whatever it may be. And you get the tip. That, you yeah. get the money. Yes. And you get the money for right. that tip, and you're helping out. You know so much. So how do you think it's it's really changing? I mean, are you already seeing? Because what we talked about a couple of weeks ago is how many more tips it seems like you guys were getting. The and again, I think just because of the staff of the Facebook, uh, the staff of the Crime Stoppers, we just revamped social media. Yeah. You know, and and more I'm not, information out there is better. The one time if somebody watches a video, say five o'clock, uh, then six, and I think I saw it this yeah I saw it this morning. Mm-hmm. I, people love to get on that internet. Yeah. <laughs> on Facebook, <laughs> <and> Facebook <laughs> trolls, uh, and uh, we. I just wanted to create a site that you can keep looking at and looking yeah. at. And we've, like I said, we've got six tips that's already, that solve stuff. Mm-hmm. Missing juveniles, uh, on armed robbery, a burglar, a suspect caught. Hopefully we can catch this guy that's still on the loose. Mm-hmm. You know, it's an old case, but, you know, it's it's an important case because mm-hmm. the guy got shot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you, um, in terms of how you go about picking what you're going to do for Crime Stoppers, do you, is it like a... A group of y'all decide, you decide. How, how do you determine what you're going to do? Well, well, at first I looked at the, the old cases that's not solved because mm-hmm. I, I notified every chief of police in our parish. And I said, look, this is not St. Landry Parish 
Sheriff's Crime Stoppers. Right. We are not actually affiliated with the sheriff. Right. We are at St. Leonard Parish Crime Stoppers. So Eunice PD has just got it with Chief Randy Fontenot has got his detectives sending me stuff. And I asked all the policemen, I said, hey, guys, if y'all got a stolen four-wheeler, if you look on the site, Harley Davidson, send me the pictures and let me put it out there. Yeah, absolutely. But when they send me the pictures or send me the case, I look at it and, and say, all right, what's what's really hot? What what kind of leads we have? How close it is? Um We've got maybe our next story. I know a bunch of departments are working together, Lafayette and stuff. There's a bad check ring going on. Really? Uh, they're printing checks. And they're, so we're working with a bunch of departments. I think that'll probably be our next one. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really up to me, but, you know, I always get my, uh, my my staff and stuff to say, what do you think we should be airing? Mm-hmm. Uh, we have an ATM. Someone broke into a, a bar and ripped an ATM off the wall. So, so uh, they just ripped it off the wall? It's one of them small ones. Uh, they were, and they stole two bottles of whiskey, too. Oh, you know, well, you this know. This is Louisiana. Gotta, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to have the whiskey and the money. <laughs> but uh, we just, we're just looking at um, – at crimes, I mean, most of it is stuff is that we don't know anything about. Yeah. You know, say, say we have no fingerprints or uh, mm-hmm. no, the cameras were not on at the time and right. were not working. So uh, we try to get that because the detectives on scene and the, and the patrolman working, they have leads. So we kind of let them work it out. But sure. these cases here are like this shooting. The guy doesn't know anything about them. So hopefully he's talked to someone else. You know, mm-hmm. I, I bragged like to, about it. Right, cried I like to about put the ones that have no leads. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, because then hopefully, like you said, something generates, it comes out, and then there you are. You're that for much further along, and hopefully you can solve it. Somebody with a Facebook secret uh, page for their neighborhood. Oh <laughs> yes, <laughs> might, might be able to say, "Hey, I'm telling you, <laughs> we find out so much from the Facebook page." <laughs> I'm really. I mean, I. I Okay, <laughs> let's just talk real. It's just us three, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Nobody Sometimes else. people get a little bit dramatic on it about, <laughs> oh, about trash about cans dog. and oh, yeah. where you and where your dog uses the bathroom and stuff. Or where you use However, the bathroom. However, <laughs> yes, but when there's a car circling in there that shouldn't be, and uh-huh. someone takes a picture and says, "Hey, watch out for this." Okay, it helps everyone. So it does. We, it really does. We, we you got to take the mess with the with the good <laughs> good information. We, we received a tip the other day through the tipster line, and this lady saw in it was an evangelist parish now, mm-hmm. but she called in through our tip line, and she saw a vehicle. The guy who stood outside the vehicle had a scope like you would have it on a rifle, looking at other houses. She took it upon herself to drive, take pictures of the truck, take follow the truck actually outside the parish into our parish taking pictures of the license plate and calling it. if we don't we cannot be everywhere at all times yeah if if the people would go you know what this is not that car is not supposed to be in my neighborhood yeah and call yep. us the littlest tip could be the the thing we're waiting for yeah and right. it can crack a small case yes. or a big case but you yes. know what to the victim it's an important case. And that's what we're trying to put out there. Mm-hmm. And that, that sounds like someone who's watched some Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Me? I like it. No, the woman oh, who followed the person yeah, out of the no, parish. Yeah, I know, I know. She, I know. Followed, she followed. She and, and she found it odd that this guy is standing outside of his vehicle with a scope. Yeah. You I know, mean, using it like a binocular. Because, you know, when you're hanging out in your neighborhood, you don't really do that, you big perv. I, I, love, no, <laughs> I love nosy people. I love nosy people. And a little update. We did catch our... Um, or sex offender that has, he didn't he violated every single uh, law that there was you know regulation uh, he didn't check in with us he didn't change his address and uh, he was featured on a Facebook again and he was captured. Excellent, nice. I love that. I Major love Eddie Thibodeau, thanks for joining us this morning yeah. and every week. We appreciate it.